Hey guys, we are back. So, in the previous video, we just submitted our campaign for approval, and it said one up to one business day for them to review it. But before you do anything else, you need to input your tracking link into the four ads that we just created, or however many ads you just created, you need to insert this tracking link into every single ad. So, so in previous videos, we set up the CLA Safflower Oil landing page and then the sales page uh, tracking link that's in the landing page. So this is our landing page tracking link. So track.codinocpa.com slash CLA Safflower Oil. This is our tracking link. And what we need to do is bring that over here and then click ads. So there should be four. So we got all four of them right here. You need to click edit. And when we were creating our ads, we didn't have this option for a drop down ad URL options, but this is where we add our tracking template. So let's expand that and we need to enter that in right there. Now you can test it to see if it brings it to the landing page and then you can view or you can see landing page found, click these dots, click URL, track.codinocpa.slash CLA Safflower Oil. So you can expand this and then you can see the final URL, which is codinocpa.com CLA Safflower Oil, our landing page that we have right here. So it found. So that's good. But we need to add some tokens at the end of it so we can track keyword, which keyword that we have in our ad groups triggered the click, which query string. So what was actually typed into Bing, that's going to be our second one. Next, we're going to have our ad ID, so which ad ID number triggered the click. And then finally, we're going to have network. And network's going to track whether it was a syndicated partner or was it Bing, AOL, or Yahoo, which is owned and operated. And that'll come back as an O, and syndicated will be S. I have this pulled up right here. This, so we just put this in there, but we need to add keyword. And this is what I like to do. I like to do keyword dash ad ID because you remember when we did our action testing, when we clicked on action, it only showed the first sub ID. So I like to have the keyword and the ad ID show up in one. And that's what this little dash does. So it looks like we're tracking or using all five of the sub IDs. Remember, we're only allowed five sub IDs. And this looks like we're using it, but this only counts as one. So essentially we're tracking two things in one sub ID, which is nice. So I am going to copy all of this and then go and paste it in there instead of my original one. And then you can click off and you can test it again. One thing to keep in mind is I've had troubles with this. I, uh, when I would create ad groups years ago, I would have parentheses in my ad group title. So this says over here, it says, I'll zoom in weight loss parentheses being suggested and parentheses if you have parentheses in there that'll mess up the tracking link so don't do that you can use dashes but that's kind of like a ninja trick that I'll, I'll help you with future headaches that you might have don't put parentheses in there okay so everything's good landing page was still found now we just have to do that to all four of them so come and edit them and paste it in Save, there's two. And if you test it on the first one, you don't really have to test it on all these. You can if you want, but I mean, obviously it's gonna work. And don't be alarmed if it says uh, landing page not found, because sometimes I've had everything set up properly and um, I've clicked on that and it said tracking template is good final URL, everything was working properly, but it said landing page not found, but it still worked. So don't freak out right away if it says landing page not found, because that just might be on Bing. Like it might not be on you. So what you have to do in that situation, if it says landing page not found, you let everything go and you wait till you start getting some clicks and you have to keep an eye, like you don't wanna be spending 40 bucks and then noticing like, oh, my clicks aren't showing up in click matching. No, once you get like your first few clicks, like let's say your first five clicks, go to click magic. And if they're not showing up, then you have to 
you have to dig into everything you've done to make sure you set it up properly. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys got a lot of value throughout this training course. Um, this is the last video of my free training course. Um, I put a lot of time and effort in this for you guys. So I hope you can get your foot in the door with affiliate marketing through Bing ads. So yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.